Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea, and today I just wanted to be really casual with you all. I have no mascara, very minimal makeup, and I wanted to make a video today, but I couldn't really think of what I wanted to do. Not because I don't have any ideas, but because I'm just not feeling it because, you know, Mother Nature is here and she's just snatching all of my vibes. So, I was watching Smokey Glow on YouTube. I love her. And she did a video called Am I Bougie? The Bougie Beauty Guru Makeup Tag. And I thought it was really cute because, can y'all believe I've been accused of being bougie? I know, right? So not me. <laughs> But I really have been accused of being bougie just in general, and I really am not. But the older I get, I'm like, am I bougie? I don't know. So when I saw this video, I was like, am I bougie with my makeup? I think I want to do this. I typically don't do a lot of tags just because some of them just don't appeal to me, but I did want to do this one today, and I thought it would be fun just to sit down and chit chat and talk about makeup and all this other stuff. So. <clears throat> If you've made it this far into the intro, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. I'd love for you to stick around and join my family here on YouTube. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you always and so much for constantly supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, so first question. I'm on my laptop reading the questions. Um, oh, I think the, uh, the originator of this video or this concept, this tag, is Abby Williamson, so I'll link her video down below so that you can check out her channel as well. All right, so here are the questions. Number one, would you rather buy one expensive luxury item or buy several items with the same amount of money? In general, I do tend to like get more, I like to get more for my money. So I would rather take $100 and get a couple items with that 100 versus spending like $100 on one makeup item. Yeah, I, I would rather get m multiple items if I could, but if it's something that I really, really, really want, I will go, you know what, this is just going to be my splurge and I'll just, you know, wait till <laughs> I get more money to buy more makeup. Okay, second question. When it comes to beauty products, do you believe the phrase, you get what you pay for? Not completely. There's a lot of drugstore or affordable items that I truly love that I think the quality is phenomenal. You've got ColourPop. I really love um, I really love Maybelline lipsticks. They are by far, I would say, they're like my top three favorite lipstick formulas. I absolutely love them. Um, and then I do have some more luxury items that I'm just like, mm, no, it's not worth it. Like my La Mer foundation. I really like it, but so not worth the price tag. Yeah, so I don't think you get what you pay for, but then at the same time, Sometimes you do get what you pay for. So if I am spending $3 on an eyeshadow palette, I'm not expecting good quality at all. And maybe that's where I am a little bougie with, with my makeup. Next question. What's the most expensive beauty item you've purchased with your own money? It would have to be the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Foundation. That foundation retails for $124. I didn't pay $124 for it. I paid $100. And some dollars for it. I had like a 10% off coupon, I think. So I didn't pay like, you know, the, the complete 124. <laughs> it costs a lot of money. But I think that is the most money I've spent on an actual makeup product all at one time. Yeah. No judgment here. No judgment. Okay, number four. Are you willing to buy products at full price or do you usually wait for a sale or discount? Yes, I will buy products for full price especially when I want it. Like when I want it, y'all, I am literally at my computer like this. It launches at 12 p.m. and I'm sitting here literally sight pulled up and refreshing and refreshing and refreshing. Like I don't mind paying full price for it. But I love a good deal because once again, I want to get the most bang for my buck. So for instance, I am eyeing the Benefit Hello Happy um, Blur Foundation, the one that comes in that little square box or like that square tubing, I really want that foundation. And I know that Ulta will typically put it on sale for half off so I can get it for $15 versus 30. So I'm not gonna pick that up until I see it on sale again for $15. So it just depends on what it is. If it's something that I really want, I'm paying full price for it. That's it. Where do you shop for beauty products the most? Sephora, Sephora, Sephora. I am a Sephora girl. 
Sephora steals my heart and stole my heart because they do something that most other places do not do and that is give me samples. Like when I realized I could get samples from Sephora and literally go in and collect samples and leave and not pay a dime, I was like, what did you get at? I was like, I, I, I don't know what I was, I didn't know. I just didn't know. Someone had to tell me. Ulta does not give samples and that's the main reason why Ulta will never get all of my money because I am a person where I get really excited about makeup and I'm like, I want it. But I'm trying to be more conscious of my spending and also I'm trying to be less wasteful too because I'm quick to return a product if I don't like it. So if I can go and get a sample of it and try it for a few days, then that is the route that I will go for a liquid product, sometimes even a powder product and things like that. Ulta, why can't you give us samples? Why do I have to wait two weeks until the Lancome rep comes in to get a sample? Like... What, why? I don't understand that. If Ulta gave samples, honestly, I would go to Ulta more because Sephora definitely has not been making me happy. I feel like we haven't been in the best relationship as of late. You know, we're going through some, some trying times. As they are changing up their rewards program and their return policy and things like that, I've had to have a couple conversations with Sephora. And I feel like, you know, we might be at a point of needing to, to get some counseling. So I've been exploring other retailers. Ulta is one of them. Or actually going to the brand site. But Sephora is like that bad boyfriend that it's like, I know he's not good for me. But like, you keep getting me to come back. That's how I feel about Sephora. So I'm a Sephora girl. But if I can buy something at Ulta and Sephora is not having a sale or like there really isn't a benefit for me to go to Sephora, I now am trying to branch out because, you know, <sighs> Sephora has not made me happy all the time this year. Okay. Rant over. Um, how often do you get your nails or hair done? Hair, never. Um, if you watched... The past three videos of mine, this is the hairstyle that you've seen, and I've been rocking this since I pretty much came out the womb. <laughs> um, if I do wear my hair down, it's because I did it myself. I just don't get my hair done unless I'm getting it dyed, and even that, I will go to a beauty school because I do not like to pay for my hair to get done. I just don't. Nails, very, very, very rarely will I get my nails done. Once again, I buy too much makeup, my makeup, my money has to go to what's important, and what's important is foundation collections, lipsticks, and basically any other beauty products. So, I typically will do my own nails. Do you prefer long or short nails? I, I like for my nails to be longer, so I just let them grow as long as they can before they start chipping, and... I mean, usually, you know, I get a decent length from them, but some of them have chips, so I like them longer. I definitely don't like my nails to not grow past um, my nail bed. I want them to be past that. I want them to actually have a little bit of length to them, um, but I don't want to be out here, like, you know, clawing people. So I, I guess I like medium length. How about that? Medium length. Okay, which makeup brush brand is your favorite? I would have to say, I'm looking at my brushes now, I would say Morphe, Elf, Morphe and Elf, I would say are the majority of my brushes. And then I have like a lot of random brushes. I have some Eco Tools brushes, I have a Wayne Goss brush, I actually really do like this Wayne Goss brush, this is the Wayne Goss 12 brush. Um, definitely a luxury spend, but I really like it. I want some more Wayne Goss brushes, but... They are kind of expensive. I do have a couple of Sigma brushes and I do like them, but brushes, I would say, is the one aspect of my um, makeup collection that I really stay pretty um, committed to what I have. Like, if I like a brush, I will literally use that brush until I cannot use the brush anymore. Whereas, like, I have multiples of foundations and I'm like, oh, I want another foundation. I guess with brushes, I'm like, if it does the job and I like it, I'm not, you know, going to spend a lot of money on it, but I want to get more eye brushes. I would say eye brushes more specifically because I'm noticing that I want to do a little bit more detailed work with my eye looks, but the brushes that I have are not detailed enough to do those. So, yeah. But even still, it's like I want to do that, and then when I really am like, okay, I want to buy some brushes, I'm like, how, how much you want for that? No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay, um, where did I leave? Okay. High-end or drugstore mascara? Drugstore all day. 
I will never pay full price. Let me not say never, because, you know, who knows. But as of right now, I do not feel like mascara is worth the price at a high-end price tag when I have to replace it literally every two to three months. So with that said, I'm like, uh-uh. If I like it, like this it Cosmetics one, I really, really like it. I will always purchase it when Ulta puts it on sale for half off and I can get it for like $10.50. But full price, mm -mm. Think of your favorite makeup brand. Is it drugstore, high-end, luxury, or indie? It is luxury. Can you guess what my favorite brand is if you've been watching me for a while? Charlotte Tilbury. You already know. Charlotte Tilbury. Then we go into Tom Ford. And then after Tom Ford, I would say Fenty as number three. And then when we get into like, those are all for like complexion products, um... And then when we get into like eyeshadows and things like that, that's where like I have a little bit more diversity. I love, I do have some favorite um, drugstore foundations, but most of my foundations and things like that are going to be like most of my favorites are luxury ones. But if I had to choose a brand where it's like from here on out, I'm only using you. Charlotte would have to win. Yep. Okay, last question. Considering your answers to these questions, do you think you're bougie? Mm, so I don't... I mean, maybe, if I'm being really honest, maybe with my makeup I am a little bit bougie, but not because, like, I want to be bougie. It's just what I like. I think, yeah. <laughs> I'll say this. When I first started out in makeup, especially because I couldn't afford everything, and... When I first started out, I felt like makeup was just way too expensive. Like, there's no way I'm spending, you know, $45 on a foundation. Absolutely not doing it. And now I'm like, oh, $45, that is a good price. I think starting out, yeah, I was more conservative. I was more I was more focused on drugstore makeup because that's honestly what I could afford and what was easier for me to get a higher quantity of. Because like I said before, I do like getting more for my money. But as I've grown in makeup, I am more about the quality. Yeah, I guess in makeup I am a little bougie, but I don't like the term bougie. So here's here's the thing. I don't consider myself bougie because when I think bougie growing up, it was always very negative and it was always from the perspective that you're stuck up and you think you're better than other people. And that's where I'm like, that is not me at all. But when it comes to bougie in the sense of like, do I like nicer things? I love my Charlotte Tilbury. I love my Tom Ford. Then yeah, mm -hmm, call me bougie. So yeah, I don't, I guess I am. And if it's in the sense of like, yeah, I'm bougie because I like nicer things, but I still love my drugstore items, then yes, I will rock that badge and, you know, be cool with it. So, I feel like this video was all over the place, but I really enjoyed making this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. It was a rock, it was a lot of fun, like, talking about this and answering those questions. Um, maybe if I see another tag, I'll do another tag, because this, I, I liked this, like, more chill environment. I didn't feel like I needed to, like, do too much, um, to get on camera, but, you know, just doing what I love and talking about makeup always fun, always a mood booster for me. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.